Okay, thank you very much for coming to, to our first meeting for Mathematics for Key Stage 1. Um, today, what we're going to do, it's nice to see so many people here to start with, so thank you very much for coming. The first thing we're going to do today is, um, is we're going to look at how we teach your children to add. And then after I've done that, we're going to go through how we teach your children to take away. So first of all, we're going to do how to add, and then we'll do how to take away afterwards. We're going to show you, and I'd like you to take part in this, we're going to show you through um, some activities how we do these things, so you can have a go, and then you can help your children when they come home with their homework, or if they find something difficult. And Mr. As, as Mr. Hassel has already said, these are also going to go on, the, um, on our website. So they're always there. Okay, shall we make a start? Has everybody got a whiteboard pen? Yeah, has everybody got a whiteboard? We'll get in and make sure you have one as well. So what we'll do is we'll make a start. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to show you is how we add in year one, and then I'll show you how we then move on into year two. So, here we go. The first one I'm going to do for you is something relatively simple. We'll do seven add six equals. So if you can do this on your whiteboard now, if you write seven add six on your whiteboard, and I will show you how we teach year one to add their numbers together. We do it by using a number line. So what I would like you to do is I'd like you to draw a line underneath and you write seven at the beginning. We put the biggest number at the beginning. Wonderful. So all you have to do is write seven at the beginning and then your number line. I'm now going to show you how we add on the six, and this is how we teach the children. We add on the six by doing six jumps. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. So we've done our jumps. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Each one is worth one jump. So we've added on one each time. We now get the children to count on, just like they would do with their fingers. So they put seven in their head, and we go seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. The answer is thirteen. So seven add six equals thirteen. Does that make sense? All right. I'm now going to show you, so that's how we do it in year one. I'm now going to show you how we then move on from that and go into year two. And we start doing something called partitioning. And partitioning is where we start splitting the number. And that's when the numbers get a little bit bigger. So here's year one. This is now year two. So I'm going to write another calculation. You can do this with me. And we're going to go with 16 add 14 equals. So if you write that on your whiteboard, 16 add 14. Wonderful. We now split the numbers. And what we do is we use place value. What is it, what is it worth? So this number here, number 1, is not a number 1, it's a 10. So what we get the children to do is to split that and go, well we've got 10 here, and we've got 6 here. And then we split the other number, so we've got 10 there, and we've got 4 there. So we split our number up into, into what they're worth in place value. We then get the children to add these together. So we go 10, we add the 10s together first. So 10 add 10 equals 20. So we've used 10 and 10. And then we add our six and <coughs> our four. Well, the children, like year two, should know their number bonds. They know six add four is ten. So they write it down. They write six add four equals ten. So we've used that four and that six. And then they have to add those two numbers together. Twenty add ten. And the answer is thirty. Is there anyone here who would like me to go through another one like that? I don't mind, because I know sometimes it can happen. I'll go through one more example, okay? Let's do this again. 
This time we'll choose two different numbers. So we'll have 12 add 14 equals. Does anybody feel brave enough to tell me what we do first? Do any of the parents feel like they know, they know what we need to do first? I know the children do. <coughs> yes. Wonderful. We split the tens and the units. Thank you very much for that. Brilliant. So we've got here 10 and we've got 2. And on this side we've got 10 and we've got 4. This makes it so much easier for the children because they can add tens together really easily. So we look at this and they go 10 add 10 equals 20. And then they do 2 add 4 equals 6. They can add 20 and 6 easily together. They know that 20 and 6 more equals 26. Does that make sense? Is everybody happy with that? Now I don't mind you coming and asking me at the end of this. If you want me to go through some more with you, I can do. Right. That's addition.